to the honor and glory of God, who by the word and through the spirit create, redeems, and sanctifies us all. Amen. Good morning. It is good to be here on this beautiful day. It is good to be here with you. It is good to be with people who want to reaffirm their baptismal covenant, to be confirmed, to take the next step in their life of faith. But I want to start my sermon with uh, a different take on the Beatitudes. Blessed are the rich, for they can buy whatever they want. Blessed are those who are never sorry, for they will never be wrong. Blessed are the arrogant, for people will listen to you. Blessed are those who eat and drink and are merry, caring nothing for others, because they will be satisfied. Blessed are the vengeful, for they will get what they deserve. Blessed are the manipulators, for they will embody God in ways the world wants. Blessed are the warmongers, for they will inherit much money. Blessed are those who persecute others for their difference, for theirs is the way of the world. Blessed are you when you revile and persecute others. Blessed are you when you reject all notions of weakness and mercy because this is what the world expects. The Beatitudes we actually have talk about a different way of being in the world. They talk about a way of being in the world that leads us, despite what the world tells us, to abundant life. It is a way of love. And not just love that looks like unicorns and rainbows. It's, it's a way of real love, of serious love, of, of love that works hard and seeks what is best for all. The Beatitudes we have tell us that when we live this way in the world, the world will reject us. And yet we are called to model that love we are called to live that love. And when we come into this fellowship, into this joining of, of ourselves to the great cloud of witnesses of those who have come, gone before us, those who are with us, those who will come after us, when we join ourselves in that witness in the Episcopal Church, our baptism is not just about saying what we believe. Our baptism includes that, but it also talks about how we shall live. And in our baptism, we say we will live lives that reject certain things. We will reject the power of evil. We will reject the things that corrupt and destroy God's children, no matter what color they are, no matter what their gender identity is, no matter what their sexual orientation is. We will open ourselves to see in them the image of a living God. We say that we will live lives that include us persevering against the forces that would draw us away from God, recognizing that from time to time we will fall away, we will fail, we will fall short. And when we do, all we must do is repent and return. We claim that we will live lives where we seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbor as ourselves, that we will strive for justice and peace among all people. And in this world that glorifies money and power, and in this world that encourages division and oppression, and in this world that encourages an attitude of everyone for themselves. By our baptismal covenant, we say 
No, we walk together. We walk in faith. We walk with Christ. For those of you who are here today to be confirmed, to renew your commitment to this life, know that living this way is going to get harder before it gets easier. Know that taking up this mantle will test you and try you and push you to your very limits. But know that you are not alone. All of these people here, all of the Episcopal Church of Colorado, all of the Episcopal Church, all around the world, there are people who are with you, praying for you, working with you to make our world look like the kingdom of God. I give thanks for you. And even after this time of COVID, your presence here, our presence here together gives me hope. Gives me hope that hate will never have the last word. That love is the strongest thing in this universe. Stronger than grief, stronger than hate, stronger than death. Our presence here today gives me hope and reminds me that God is in fact with us and God's spirit is moving in us and by our witness and by our faithfulness we will make a difference. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Let us rejoice and be glad, for our reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Amen. <laughs>